it's an incredibly special feeling to be an official Mercedes driver and a bit of a strange feeling at the same time because we haven't spent so much time there when I was in Formula 3 and Formula 2 as a, as a junior driver. In a way, it feels like returning home to people who I've known for such a long time and getting to, up to speed with how the team operates again, which is something I've really enjoyed. Because I spent so much time with the team prior to joining Williams in Formula 1 as a, as a junior driver, I feel like I know everybody so well already, so we, we're just straight to business on the, on the important bits and bobs to, to understand the new car, to understand the challenges, and to try and prepare as best as possible for the season ahead. And I think following the conclusion of last year, there's so much motivation and fire within the, the whole factory to, to bounce back, and that is um, incredible for me to see. So far it's been a great winter. I spent uh, nine days in Landrotti for my training camp, which is something I've done on a yearly basis, which is a great way to start the season. I spent plenty of days in the factory with the, with the engineers going through a lot of presentations on what the car looks like, but obviously, and most importantly on the simulator, getting to, to grips with the new car, understanding the limitations and, and trying to direct the, the development and where we need to improve. And I think that's been also a really exciting part for me with this new opportunity with the, the new regulations to, to try and get on top of that as fast as possible. First impressions of W13 have been interesting. It's a very different car to the previous era and the characteristics of how the downforce is, is produced is completely different. So we're still learning as we're going. There, there's still a huge amount of improvements to be made to bring everything together. To, to make it as nice as possible to drive, which I foresee a lot of people being in the same boat because we're, we're just learning so much day after day, whether it's in the winter or, or in the simulator. And I think it's gonna be a year of, um, of development. Um, I think everybody wants to go to the first race and have the fastest car possible, but what will be more important is understanding what your limitations are and how you're gonna improve from those limitations to, to build yourself the, the best foundation possible. I see moving teams during this regulation change as a positive in all honesty because we've got a completely different car which is a completely different philosophy to, to previously, different tyres, working with new engineers and I think starting from a completely fresh sheet of paper is beneficial for all whereas I think if I stayed with Williams for this season there's always things in the back of your mind that you learnt on the previous era of cars that will always subconsciously carry through into, into the future. Whereas if you are truly starting on, from a fresh slate, I think that can only be a, a beneficial this year. My hopes for 2022 is to really get the maximum from myself and, and the team around me. I think it's gonna be such an interesting year of development. And I think that's truly where all the performance is gonna be this year. Uh, but in terms of a result, I, I truly don't believe you can put a, a value or a target on that because Nobody knows where they're going to be when they reach to, to the first race. You have to have your, your micro targets of where am I going to improve on myself? Where am I going to improve on the car? And if you do every single aspect correctly, you give yourself the best chance of, of reaching the, the obvious goal.